Hi, welcome to my very first video on this silly little channel. And what I'd like to do on this platform is go over my creative process and share with the people my story because I have no one else to talk to this with and I might as well get it out there so that maybe one day whenever I release a comic or what have you I can show off my process and give you a general idea of what's happening. For this video, I'm going to do a speed paint, and it's basically of this character that I have named Inalis. He's gone through many iterations throughout the years, and this is one of his recents. To give you a little bit of background about him, he works at a kind of a fight club bar where he competes at he's basically the final boss of the tournament if you've played Mortal Kombat he would be Shang Tsung but more boyish I guess <laughs> this is his outfit for whenever he fights he is mostly his motif is based off of cardinals so that is what I've tried to go with the mask is supposed to try to emulate, you know, the face of the bird. And the club that he works for is called Little Birds. And so all the characters there have a bird motif, and his happens to be the Cardinal. And now to actually talk about the artwork itself. we are I think we've been on the lining stage for a little bit of time. And I now just filled it in with solid gray. And I'm attempting to do the lighting. Despite having been drawing for basically all of my life, I still am not the best at doing about putting my lighting down. And as you can see, I very quickly abandoned the black and white um, underpainting and just went straight in for color. And so. Here I was trying to figure out the colors I wanted to use for his outfit. Um, I'm pretty sure I already talked about how he's based off a cardinal, so I wanted to really try to implement those colors and also represent his homeland, which is called Eridonia, which is a place kind of locked tidally into warfare. I'm now going over the shadows in the multiply mode and adding some highlights by erasing a little bit and going a little bit more in the shadows and I think it's about to be over because well this is, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll the next one. well that was quick so we're off to a different outfit for him because in the story I'd like to give him or basically all my characters a lot of different fun little outfits to wear because I think it's cool whenever comics or stories do that for their characters so that's what I want to do and this one would basically be his night out whenever he's doing his side jobs which he does to earn a little bit of extra cash so that maybe one day he can leave this forsaken realm that is constantly locked in warfare what that would be for him he doesn't really know yet he just wants to get out and his whole mindset is act now and think about the consequences later I am doing the sketching stage and at some point I am going to rotate the whole damn canvas so there's going to be a nice jump. I'm using a Clip Studio model so that I can draw on the clothes so that I can figure out how they would lay and fall onto the ground. And the head was a pain. I could not for the life of me figure out how to do the hood. And so I redid that a whole bunch of times. I don't know how many times it's been so far, but at some point I drew it on a separate layer and just kind of overlaid it onto the drawing. Oh, yep, there's like the third, fourth, and there's that. So I just decided just to draw on a separate layer and then just merge it together, which is actually pretty helpful. And here's around the time that I flipped the whole canvas. Oh, voila, I flipped that. 
So now we're getting on to the line art, which same as the other one. I don't think I'd try to do a value painting this time because I realized I do not enjoy doing those and I just like going straight into color. Um, if you've noticed, the rose ribbon on his outfit is shared in between the other one. That is another little motif that he has, which is of roses, and basically his home nation is their national flower is of the rose, and a lot of their people have roses incorporated into their outfits. Not all, but most. And for the colors of this outfit, I've decided to go with red and purple, and add some silver accents. So those side jobs that I had mentioned, basically whenever he is not fighting in the tournament at Little Birds, he takes on jobs, basically commissions for other people who need to either exterminate some sort of vermin. He also does not mind doing the dirty work of others, so that is one of the jobs that you can hire him for. Ignore that cut in the audio because I totally did not screw up in recording this and started to go silent. Recording audio is hard and I didn't know how hard it was until I started trying it, so you know, I'm learning. Um, this is almost over actually, so I gotta kind of squeeze in whatever I want to say. Uh, the goals for this channel, I basically want to just share my world building and like I said, my thought process behind the things that I do, and this first video is going to be very messy because this is my first time trying to do any sort of professional-ish video for YouTube, so you don't have to be nice to me. I mean, it's kind of, this probably fucking sucks, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> but hey, I'm trying, and you can't take that away from me, or you can, I don't know, I'm not the boss of you. So the artwork is about finished. This was a mess. A fun mess. I've kind of enjoyed doing this. The next video I should be doing, hopefully, if I'm not a coward, is to show you the drawing process of one of Enalis's most hated people, a woman named Buto. So I hope you look forward to that as this speed painting comes to a close. Generic YouTube things can be said at the end. I hope you have a wonderful day.